guys and welcome back to the channel i'm hoping that you all are having a lovely day today so today we are back at the channel with a house tour <laughs> yes this is the house tour of the farm that we have been working on for quite a long time i think like three or four months so it's been a while and i'm sorry but I am happy to say it's finally finished and you guys can go and download this house from the gallery under my origin love simply sim so just go check that out there's also a link in the description if you just want to go right over there but if you first want to see the house tour you know have a, have a look on how this house really looks uh, on the inside because i did do a few changes especially to the second floor i also filled in um the greenhouse at the back and also played around with uh, the basement a little bit so if you guys want to see the changes first and the full on house tour keep on watching oops I knocked over my mic so sorry <laughs> just keep on watching because we're gonna start the tour right now so first of all I set the seasons to fall as you guys can see it has this gorgeous kind of fall color going on right now um so let me show you guys the garden or no you know what let me show you guys the house first let's do that first so let me pause the game so that we won't lose uh you know our natural sunlight <laughs> look at her standing there <laughs> that's so cute um so this is the driveway so I imagine, you know, that you drive up here with your car. Then you can either go straight ahead to the barn area to unload maybe some groceries or, you know, supplies or whatever. Or you can park the car here on the driveway and you can walk into the house. So let's walk into the house first because I'm dying to show you guys what I've done. So this is the tiny front yard that we are working with we have a sewing set here off the right side and on the left you know just some plants and flowers uh, also some fall decorations i did build this farm with fall in mind because fall is my favorite time of year and we're in fall right now not that it was intentional <laughs> <laughs> that too, that I wanted to finish this in fall, but it's just a nice coincidence. Anyways, walking into the hallway, you can see right on the right, we have a living room section. We're gonna enter that a little bit later. We have a coat rack right here, uh, some fall decorations here on the table. And then when you walk, you know, straight, straight into this room, we enter the dining room. So the dining room is actually the first room that you will see. Let me, you know, zoom out a little bit. So it's just a nice, you know, traditional looking dining room. Let's pan all the way around. And then the dining room is attached to the kitchen. So for the kitchen, I did try to really incorporate lots of clutter items, you know, little stuff here and there. Here we have like a little pantry area with some spices, some weird jars with whatever in there, a coffee machine, and then some tea and a little spice bottle right there. Uh, also some pots and pans, you know, hanging from the ceiling and then when we turn around I made a little seating area here you know in the bay view window and then also a nice seating area there and a high chair you know for the kids and then when you go through here we have the washer um, you know the two sinks and uh, the refrigerator <laughs> so yeah this is the kitchen I, I really do love you know the amount of clutter in here i don't know it just looks really nice so going through here we have again a little seating area there's lots of seating areas by the way <laughs> so just so that you know i made this outdoor kind of fireplace area where the you know the family can sit maybe when it's cold outside but they do want to enjoy like a uh you know a nice winterly sun but it's still cold then they can light up the fireplace right there and they can sit here in the corner or here on the right side when the weather is like really nice they can go sit here and enjoy a nice barbecue because i did add in a barbecue right there uh off the wall so they can sit here and have dinner as well so going back in 
through the kitchen area of course and when you look through here you can actually see the yard which is so awesome but yeah going through here going back through you know let's go back through the hallway um uh, yeah, let's do the hallway first. So we've seen the dining room. We've seen the kitchen. Whoa, I'm so sorry. It's a little bit laggy. Um, going up here, we have the second floor, which we're going to do later. <laughs> oh, she's watching television standing up. Um, and then we have the basement right there as well, which we're, which, which we also going to visit later on. So here we have the first bathroom of the house. I think there are three. So I kept this one really basic, really simple. This is just a bathroom that you know the family uses sometimes they prefer the upstairs bathroom but this is more for guests and such to use so a very simple looking bathroom so going back through here we have the uh, living room and keep in mind by the way um, if you didn't know it already, if this is like the first video that you are seeing from this house, I only made this house with four packs. So seasons, get together, um, parenthood and laundry day, day. So just so that you know, and I truly really tried to fill in this living room uh, with as much of a seasons items that I could find uh, and also laundry day, lots of laundry day. So loving the little seating area also have a grand piano here in the corner and then here when you go through here we actually have a butler's pantry so you know some items here and there we have loads of bottles <laughs> with liquor <laughs> because yeah i just really like that and then here we have the dining room again so going back to the living room uh crossing the living room so excuse me <laughs> she's just standing there we have a little play area here in the corner for the toddler and this is mommy's and daddy's office so i think they alternate while using this um i think do i have another computer in the house i think no i think this is the only computer if i have that correct so this is the office where they do their bookkeeping you know how they are selling uh the flowers and all the vegetables as everything is gonna go all right uh, and then when you go through here we have the laundry room so for the laundry room i kept it basic and simple again uh, this room seemed perfect as a laundry room because because of the tiny little windows up there. I mean, those are so tiny. Um, and I think in a laundry room or a bathroom, tiny windows are very ideal. You know, you have your, uh, your airing or how do you call it? <laughs> your ventilation through the tiny windows and a little bit of natural light, but not too large. So especially in a bathroom, they won't see you, you know, get undressed and stuff like that. So a little bit of privacy. Um, so yeah, this is the laundry room. Kept it basic. Like I said, like I said, there's a washer, a dryer, a sink, you know, uh, a little bit of cupboard space and everything in your sim needs. So going prep, <laughs> back through the door and then we're gonna go into these double doors oh there are four bathrooms yeah there's a bathroom here as well so entering the double doors or the opens this is actually a door that slides open this came with the update um, this is actually the tiny gym that I added in so this is uh, only a um, you know a weight lifter thingy and a treadmill that's all we have here and of course a skylight for some natural light I think that is a really nice little addition and then going through here, we have a full um, bathroom. So this bathroom is a little bit more elaborate, as you guys can see. There's a shower, a toilet, lots of little clutter items, and then a double sink. So this is the bathroom that the family would use. So yeah, here, this is a walk-in shower. <laughs> really nice. So this is a bathroom that the family would use when working out or using the indoor pool. So yes, there is an indoor pool if you haven't noticed it already. So so this indoor pool has a sun roof or a you know a glass roof uh, this maximizes the uh, level of natural light that we have and it also works a little bit as uh, a bruikas is it a bruikas i don't know how do you call it so it's a little bit warmer 
inside of this room because of the, the glass roof, which is awesome, especially when you have like an indoor swimming pool. So the indoor swimming pool, we have two little sun beds right there, you know, a diving platform, um, towels and everything your sim basically needs to go swimming <laughs> indoors. So yeah, we have a gym, an indoor swimming pool. Um, this house has it all and I love the glass roofs uh, and also this section right here as well. I just really like how it looks. So going back through here, you know, crossing the office area again, then going through, uh, what is this? <laughs> the living room, we're gonna go to the staircase. So we have two staircases in this section, one up, one down. Let me go up first. So this is going into the second floor or first floor depending on where you live and how you call it. The first thing that we see is a little seating area right off the corner here in the right side. You know, just a cute little seating area. We have a tiny balcony right here with some plants and a little chair. Going back, there's also a ladder type of stairs going up, which I will show you guys later. <laughs> but then here, so if you were following the series, you know that there was a room right here. I was, first of all, I was uh, intentionally wanted to make here a kid's bedroom. That is what I wanted to do. But then I found it so, uh, I don't know, a waste of the of the sunlight, you know, the we have this gorgeous skylight up in here and I wanted to benefit from the light so I actually made a little library room right here so this is more for the kids um, you know there's like a don't wake the llama game there are toys on the ground a little seating area there on the left hand corner we have um, a crafting station and then here if you go off the balcony you can look into the library which I think mommy and daddy would use the most. So this library uh, with, you know, nice, nice little seating area is actually connected here. So this is the dining room again. So this is a, the, the room that I made of camera. And I think it looks really nice. I'm actually loving, you know, the balcony idea. So going through here, we have a bedroom. So this bedroom we did furnish off on camera. So this we did together. So this is a teen girl's artistic bedroom. She wants to be a painter, uh, a famous painter when she goes up. Uh, and then we also made it in this kind of blue and greenish color palette, which I really enjoy. enjoy. Um, she has like a vanity table here, some music and a walk-in wardrobe, which has... Uh, you know, some ties and stuff. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is the kids, no, the teen girls bedroom that I did on camera. So going back through here, we have another bedroom and this one actually I furnished off camera. So this bedroom right here is uh, a twin girls, you know, flowery bedroom with lots of I don't know, lots of little colors. So the color palette, as you guys can see, is like this minty, greenish, bluish, teal color. I don't know which color that is, guys. <laughs> but it's a gorgeous color and then a pinky toned color as well. So I had them have like two little desks for homework. They have their own separate bookcases. They'll have a mirror, some shoes, and then of course separate beds as well. So, and then here a little station with arts and crafts and little knickknacks. <laughs> so yeah, this is the twin girls bedroom. So going back to the hallway, um, I'm gonna show you another room that I did off camera. So originally this was gonna be a bathroom, <laughs> but I decided to go for a nursery again, keeping it with like a fall theme. We have little ghosts on the wall. I kept this really minimal, this bedroom, uh, uh, clean, although the wallpaper is a little bit, you know, out there, a little bit loud, but it's fine. You can always change it if you don't like it. I actually, I actually love the combination of 
the floor you know it's like a zebra and then with the wallpaper and then a little zebra right there in the corner it just really makes me laugh so yeah this is the nursery and toddler bedroom in one so yeah and then going back through here we have a hallway but before we go into the hallway, let me show you this upstairs area like real quick. So we have an attic. It's like a really, really tiny attic, as you guys can see. But I found it was hilarious to add in, you know, the, uh, how you call this thing? The Christmas tree, that's it. I, I just found it really funny to add the Christmas tree and, you know, uh, some money that daddy's hiding or something like that and some clutter objects up in the attic. So yes, we have an attic. If you want, you can make it haunted, whatever you like. Um, but yeah, that's the attic right there. So going through the left... And then on the right hand corner right here, we have the master bedroom. So the master bedroom I furnished on camera, so you might already have seen it. But for the people who have, haven't seen it, this is the, let me, I need a good kind of corner to, you know, let me do it like this. Okay, so this is the walk-in wardrobe. So you come into the walk-in wardrobe first. I went with very neutral colors, as you guys can see. There's a double dresser. So there's one for him, there's one for her. And then this walk-in wardrobe is connected to the ensuite bathroom. So for the ensuite bathroom, I went with, you know, a little bit more colorful tiling, double sink, shower, and bathtub. So yeah, this has everything your sim needs. And then going back in right here, we have the master bedroom area. So there's of course a seating area with a fireplace. We added in a little bit more color here, going with yellows. Let me pan through the room. And then here we have the master bed and uh, a little makeup station on the right as well. So for the master bed, I went for this uh, Burgundy? Is it bur No, it's not burgundy. It's like an eggplant color, you know, purpley eggplant color. Gorgeous. There is a bookcase there. You know, this is the view from the bed. There's a nice large mirror there in the corner. Um, so yeah, I think this is a very uh, sophisticated looking master bedroom. So let me turn around like real quick. That's it. <laughs> so going back through the hall. There's another door. So this bedroom I also did on camera. I made like, I think a little speed build about it. Did I do that? I think I did. Anyways, this uh, bedroom is a boy's bedroom who lo loves the outdoors and nature and stuff. Um, this is his bed. I went with some blue and orangey color palettes right here. He also has like a little reading nook, some toys. And then here we have uh, his crafting, not really a crafting table, but more like his workstation. So he has like a pen, some glue, uh, some cards that he made, some fossils that he dig up, you know, when he was out and about. Um, his little collection of outdoor items up on the shelves, uh, some fish he caught in their own private pond, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and then, of course, he's a llama scout uh, because llama scouts love Love, they just love the outdoors. Uh, and then he also has, uh, I don't know, it's like a Lego table. So yeah, this is the boys' bedroom. Going back through the door, uh, I'm going to show you the final room of the second floor. So this is the bathroom. This is the bathroom for the kids. Mommy and Daddy have their own bathroom. This is what the kids are going to use. So there's a toddler potty. There's a toilet. There's a sink. A shower and bath in one and then of course a laundry basket for them to place their laundry so that is the second floor so we've done the first floor we've done the second floor I showed you guys the little balcony so let's go back down like this and then let's go into the basement so this is the basement like so so for the basement I didn't really know what I wanted, but I knew I wanted like 
something like a wine cellar. So I combined the wine cellar, which is here, with like a grand piano, some bookcases. So this can be entertainment as well. Maybe mommy and daddy want like a grown-up party, uh, but the kids are still at home. So they're like, okay, kids, you know, me, mommy, and some friends are gonna go down in the basement, drink some wine, uh, maybe listen to some music that is gonna be played on the piano and then you guys can chill upstairs and use the living room or something like that. Uh, I don't know, <laughs> it's just an idea. Um, but yeah, this is the uh, wine cellar right here. There's a bar for entertainment, really important. <laughs> There's lots of wine here, even some strong liquor. I'm seeing vodka, whiskey, uh, I don't know what the green stuff is, but it's it's something strong. <laughs> and then back here, we also have, you know, the, the normal items that every uh, basement has, and that is clutter. <laughs> lots and lots of clutter. So we have the uh, bins here for changing your outdoor decoration, always handy. Um, you know, just some items randomly placed here and there. Um, and then another arch to go back into this uh, joint, uh, you know, place. So that's it. That is the basement. So let's go back up right here. And then I'm going to show you guys the backyard. So I'm going to go through here around the dining table like so <laughs> then i'm gonna give you guys another look into the uh little library area with a typewriter i don't know if you saw the typewriter but i find it really cute so typewriter little seating area balcony right there and then let's go off into the backyard so let me unpause the game so that you guys can see the surrounding a little bit more you know take in the backyard um we have a bar here as well so there's a bar downstairs there's a bar here we have another barbecue right there um we have a outdoor um washer no no a laundry laundry line not a washer a washing top that's it so there are some stairs where you can go down from we have some sun beds you know nice relaxing water here a little seating area with fire pits really enjoying this backyard i find it really nice we have a gnome here for our fall um, and then she's cleaning up all the cups that i placed in the barn but that's fine um we have a toddler pool right here as well and you know some play areas loving the landscaping right here and i also added in this dollhouse in the corner the dollhouse is also always something that my sims love to play with so i placed it there so that's the backyard let's take another look you know this is how the backyard looks so let's go back down and let me show you guys uh, the garden and such. So this is an area where you can plant either flowers or whatever. I decided not to place anything. Leave it empty for you guys to decide. But I think it looks really fun. So you can definitely turn on, you know, the water like so. Uh, oh my gosh, let me turn on the water like that. Uh, turn on yeah so it looks really nice <laughs> uh, and then we also have some beehives there on either side uh, which your sims can tend to and you know harvest some uh, not beer but honey <laughs> and then we have a little fishing pond this is functional by the way I did test it out and then here we have a greenhouse and the barn. And then this is the little walkway leading up, you know, to the front of the house. Uh, and then you can also see the balcony right there. So let me show you guys. Uh, let me pause the game before we lose all this gorgeous light. Let me show you guys the greenhouse. Because this is also something that I did off camera. So the greenhouse, I'm actually really proud of. I, I love the look um especially you know all the plants and such so what i love about the greenhouse is this little lettuce work let me show you guys that first that i added in on top 
of the greenhouse. So, you know, there are some plants overgrowing the greenhouse a little bit. You can definitely add in some more, some flowers and such. I just, I just kept it really simple. Um, so here you can place all your flowers and plants, you know, that are not in season. You can plant them here in the planters or you can plant them in the ground. So there's also a section for, you know, some ground plants. Um, and you can keep them there the entire year round if you want to. I just found that it looked very fun to have two levels in the greenhouse. So I'm, I'm really happy with this. I, I love how it turned out. Uh, if I had a few more packs, I would have pro probably added in a little bit more detail. But with the four packs that we have, I think it looks really nice. So going back out of the greenhouse, let me show you guys the barn. So this is the back of the barn. This is where, you know, the driveway drives up here. I imagine that the uh, the truck would stop here and then here they would probably unload everything. So this is the barn or work area for mom and dad. So mom and dad have their own private little kitchen here for some coffee making and tea making. Um, this is the area where mom really does her, you know, her work. There are some letters, some cookbooks. You know, she has been doing all that, uh, <laughs> you know, research. She has some of her vegetables and such laid out on the table. And then here, whoops, on the back, we have her flower arranging table. So one thing I forgot, and I'm so sorry, <laughs> is I forgot to fill in this, this kind of shelf that I made with you know clutter items i just remembered and i see it of course that i needed to do that so so sorry so if you download this from the gallery you can fill it in yourself you know add in some of the flowers that you arrange you can place them all on the shelves or uh, books or whatever you want um then going through here we have uh another area so this is uh not filled in but I did make like a little stair going down and you can definitely, you know, enter this side of the property here, but you can also plant some trees, some apple trees and whatever, you know, off this side and maybe replace these trees right here. Uh, again, I didn't do that. I want to leave it up to you. This is just a, you know, a shell that you can work with and you can plant whatever you want, but just, I wanted to give you guys that option going through here. We have daddy's little workspace or mommy. I don't know. I don't know who the woodworker is in the family, but this is another workspace. We have a woodworking table, you know, a table with, again, lots of clutter items. There's actually two woodworking tables, so they can both woodwork if they want to. A little seating area there in the corner. And then going through here, we have the front of... Uh, the farm so this let me show you guys this is the front garden so this is also an area for plants and flowers and whatever and what is he doing in my garden <laughs> that's like so rude he's just walking in i think he's gonna knock on the door uh because yeah probably ah that's the welcome wagon so yeah let's end that so Let's set this as a front door. I don't know if you guys need to do that when you download this from the gallery. Uh, but yeah, just so that you know, you should, you should probably set this at the front door if you don't want them all to walk through your little garden. So yeah, this is the entire house. Uh, let me show you it from, you know, this walkway. You can look into the garden on the left. Um, and then, you know, you have all all the the <laughs> how did all the scenery right here i love this little walkway i love all the flowers and the plants it looks really really nice and then of course in nighttime you know when the lanterns go on that also looks awesome so that is basically it for the house tour let me go and try to change the season for you guys so at this point we are in fall so let me try and enter uh, winter. So I think, let me grab my cheat like real quick. 
So I think the cheat is uh, set to season. And then one is fall, but what is two? Let me quickly check. Um, two is winter. Okay, so let me... Okay, let's see if this works. So change... Oh my gosh, it's winter, you guys. <laughs> That is so awesome and it's starting to snow. Uh, the leaves have immediately fallen to the ground. This is like really messy. <laughs> but so that you can see, this is how the lot looks uh, when winter starts. Everything is like a little bit dead. Uh, I, I do really like how this looks though. It looks so realistic. This looks like my backyard when winter starts my front as well I, at the front of my house i have this really large uh, a few large oak trees and pine trees and uh, also a few oh i don't know what they are called but anyways they give a large amounts of leaves so it kind of looks like this especially because my husband husband doesn't like to change <laughs> you know doesn't like to um pick up the leaves that often so yeah so let me turn this off real quick okay guys this is how the house looks when it's covered with snow it's not a really you know a heavy pile of snow snow not slow <laughs> snow but you can definitely see the snow on the floor and i also wanted to show you guys how the house looks in nighttime so we've added out oops what's that no thank you um, anyways, we added some, uh, you know, lights all around here. We also have some lights here. Um, so I think it looks really nice. And I think we also added in, yeah, some exterior lights, uh, you know, here as well. So it's a really nice looking uh, setting in the winter time at night and look at that bonfire it's like so large <laughs> but it works i actually scaled it down uh, but it's still very functional your sims can still go here and you know cozy up with you know with their husband uh, she can go out and you know hang out a little bit uh, oh, she's like really sad. <laughs> Should probably turn on the thermostat as well. So let me... Oh, she can... Only she can do it? Okay, so set to warmer. So let's, you know, make it a little bit cozy and warm on the inside. Also, let's light the fireplace. I think that also would be fun. Um... So now, yeah, the thermostat is on. We're gonna, you know, put on the fireplace. I mean, look, they're getting cozy. Adding some fuel. So it's all functional, like I said. Um, and the ground, you know, the snow is thickening. So this is the overall little view at nighttime when it's snowing. And I think it's gorgeous. Um, so yeah, you guys have seen it in fall, you have seen me build this in summer, and now you've seen it in, uh, how do you call it, in winter. I am gonna try and set it to, uh, I'm gonna try and set it to, uh, spring, and, uh, what is this year? Oh my gosh, what was I doing? <laughs> I'm gonna try and set it to spring and summer, but I don't know if it's gonna work. So give me one second and I will be right back. Okay, guys, I have now set the season to spring. Also made it 12 p.m. again, you know, with some cheating. <laughs> and now you guys can slowly see, um, you know, the, the snow melt away. It's slowly melting away. Oops, and it's gone. <laughs> it's gone and it's it's springtime. <laughs> well, that's fine. So no, I don't want any earbuds. So this is how it looks in spring. Kind of dead. But let's change it now into summer. Um, I think that is set up for... Did it change? No, it did not. Let me try that again. Oh wait, summer is zero. 
yeah and then this is summer again so this is how it looks in summer and this is how we've built the house uh, in the first place so yeah let me set it back to spring or fall because i actually enjoyed that one the most so like that and now we're back in fall so i think fall looks the best uh, let me know what you guys think uh, anyways this is the end of a entire series uh, and of course uh, the end of the house tour i'm hoping that you guys enjoyed this real time building series that i've did with you guys let me know in the comments if i should start another one with the get famous ep maybe do like half real time half speed build to speed up the process a little bit more you know leave all your suggestions feedback down below i love to hear your thoughts and of course leave your likes if you liked the video and if this is the first video that you are seeing from me and you're enjoying the house tour i have loads of other house tours on the channel i will link a few here in the screen or in the description of the video uh, go check those out if you want to and of course if you liked it subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so that you would never ever miss a video of mine so that's it you guys i'm hoping that you all are having a lovely sunday wherever you are and hopefully I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>